hear the word of God and do it. Now it came to God on a certain day that he went into the ship with his disciples and he said unto them, Let us go over unto the other side of the land. And they launched forth. But as they sailed, he fell asleep. And there came down a storm of wind on the lake, and they were filled with water, and were in <coughs> Jobal. And they came to him, and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose, and rebuked the wind and the wrenching of the water. And there ceased, and there were was a calm, and he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they, being afraid, wondered, saying one to another, What manner of man is this? For he commanded the wind and the water, and they obey him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, God is so good. All right, um, and it says that uh, we just got done reading from Luke chapter 8, and we started at verse uh, 11, and I'm going to go ahead and pick up at verse 26, and it says, Yes. saying we got done reading uh, we started at Luke chapter 8 and uh, verse 11 and I will be picking up at uh, verse 26 and it says and they arrived at the country of 
the Gadarenes, which is over against Galilee. And when he went forth to land, there met him out of the city a certain man, which had devils long time and wear no clothes, neither abode in any house, but in the tombs. <coughs> Sorry. When he saw Jesus, he cried out and fell down before him and with a loud voice said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God most high? I beseech thee, torment me not. For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For oft time it had caught him, and he was kept bound with chains, <coughs> sorry, and uh, fetters. And he brake the bands and was driven of the devil into the wilderness. And Jesus asked him, saying, What is thy name? And he said, Legion, because many devils were entered into him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to just say, God is good. Yes, he is. He's awesome. And I look at a passage like this, and I know it's going to be more strengthened as we continue to talk about or to read about the devils. But one thing I can say a man who is filled with devils, did he know who Jesus is? Yes. yes. But. The legions, the, the, the devils knew who Jesus was. Yeah. <coughs> And he was speaking through the man. And he said, don't, don't, please, don't torment me. And I'm just letting you know that the, the people who were supposed to be righteous, the ones who are supposed to know who Jesus is, they did not know who Jesus is. Or even if they know, they selected not to know. But here goes someone who was filled with devils. Identify Jesus Christ. And even though we, we may hear people say Jesus is not the son of God. But at least when we read this section, we realize that he was called out. Has the son of God. And, 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 and if someone confronts us about who Jesus is. That is a very, very good verse. Mark 8 and verse 28 can show you directly who Jesus is. Praise the Lord. And um, what, what, what was the disciples in? While Jesus was at the bottom sleeping, what were they traveling in? A boat. They were traveling in a boat. And, and, and what happened? They got full of water. They got full of water. But not only that, but a storm was on. I, I know in Florida right now. Yeah, and now in Florida, there's a storm trying to go to Florida right now, and we're praying for it to go somewhere else it, it, right now. But just imagine how boisterous that storm was. 
and the boat probably was rocking. But you know, we try to figure out how in the world Jesus, have you ever thought about it? How in the world Jesus was down there sleeping while the boat was rocking and the storm was raging? How, how? Well, well Well, well, I, I believe. I believe it was an intentional sleep. Yes, it was an intentional sleep. <coughs> Sorry, just to just to let the disciples know the power of Jesus. Just to let them know that this is the Christ. Just to let them know that they need to have faith in the Christ. Praise the Lord. So they were worried. And, and, then, then, and, and I'm saying this because sometimes we say we have Jesus. But we don't realize that Jesus is dear. We claim we have Jesus. We live all kinds of ways. Our life gets like a stormy sea, and we don't call upon Jesus until we are in trouble. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? We don't call upon him until we are really, really in trouble. And that's, that's what happened to the disciples, and that's what happened to us sometimes. Some people, they don't call upon Jesus until when they don't have no other options. I don't know if Sister Brown understand what I'm saying. But we should call upon Jesus before we even start doing what we are doing. Even if we are getting ready to sin. I mean, it's kind of presumptuous, but we should pray to Jesus. I mean, I'm going to tell you what I used to do. I, I used to pray before I go into the clubs down there in Florida. And maybe that's why sometimes when they were shooting, I didn't get shot. <laughs> right, right. Because even though it sounds kind of crazy, because I probably wasn't supposed to be there, but I, I prayed before I stepped in the club because I know it's a possibility. When, when liquor gets into my head and the other people's head, they do crazy stuff. Yeah, so let us make sure that we understand what it means to be in the arms of God. It means that we should be with him and in his arms 24-7 through the good times and through the bad times. Through the not so bad times, we need to be in the arms of God. And Jesus Christ broke down the parable about the, the seeds. You know, and, and yesterday I highlighted it, you know, talking about the ones that was on the wayside. They 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 received the word, but the word went away from them. The ones that received the fell on the rocks, they had no sustenance. And he was talking about People receiving Christ. These are different categories of people who receive Christ in their lives, but they did different things with it. And but thank the Lord. After the one got choked out, there were some that fell on good ground and bear fruit. And the fruit that is born that, that they bear is by telling. Sister Brown, you want to finish that? It's by telling what? By telling others about God. Telling others about our experience with God so that they too can come and experience who Christ is. So that's, that's our job. That's our duty. This parable is not only for the disciples. It is also for us to let us know 
that when we receive Christ, we ought to share Christ with others. I could ask the question, are we doing that? Yes, sir. All right. Even when the winds and the waves are rocking our boat? All right. Let us pray and ask God to... Yes, let us pray. Let us pray and ask God to help us as we continue to tell others about his goodness. Praise ye the Lord. Amen.